Over the last few weeks, while the cameras have been off, we've been pulling apart the interior of the 4Runner. And today, we're gonna start adding things back on. But before we get to that, I wanna weigh all of the wiring harnesses and accessories that we took out to find out how much weight we're saving. I think it's gonna be a lot more than you think it is. So let's start by loading up some of this wiring into a bin and we'll weigh it and we'll see how much it comes out to. Oh, we're up to eight pounds. Man, that's tough to see. I need a bigger scale. 87, 30. Why didn't we get a better scale for this? We need a smaller bin. Let's, let's do a bucket. Round two, bucket. 11 pounds. Twenty-nine. Safety Steve. You're up. 21.58. 53 and a half pounds. 53 and a half pounds. We gotta make room for more. Alright, we got 30 pounds on the nose. We're not gonna throw this away. Because we don't want to be wasteful. Somebody might want a nice JBL subway. Because we don't want to be wasteful. 14 pounds, 6.3 ounces. I don't know if we get it. It's here. This is the sound deadening for the firewall, I think. Yeah, 21, point, 21 pounds, 1.3 ounces. So these are the airbags. These run all the way along the top and we're not gonna need these. So we're gonna have a roll cage and harnesses and all the mandatory safety equipment to be able to get rid of these. And don't do this at home. Keep these, so it'll keep you alive. Um, but for me, I'm getting rid of them. 10 pounds, five ounces, and we have two of them. One of us is doing manual labor. Other two. This stuff over here, this is the goodies. Let's weigh all of the computers. Ooh, airbag module. There's some people that really wish they had one of these. <laughs> 24 pounds, 9.8 ounces of computadores. Three pounds, 14.4 ounces for the shifter. Eight pounds, 10 ounces. I think that's how much I weighed as a baby. All right, safety Steve, what do we have for a number? What's our grand total? 182.4 pounds. 182 pounds and four ounces. That is not needed in a 4Runner at all. So you can go to your 4Runner in your driveway and rip it all out right now. I'm just kidding, please don't go rip apart your forerunners. Uh, your spouses will probably be very mad. We are done taking apart the forerunner. The disassembly is over, the engine's out, the harness is out, the whole interior is gutted. Today we start the assembly. We have racks and racks of brand new parts. I've got a motor with everything it needs to be put together and put in the forerunner. 
So let's go over the three pedals that it's gonna take to drive the 4Runner. The first one is the OEM gas pedal. The second one is a brake pedal out of a third generation Toyota Tacoma. What makes this brake pedal special and different from most brake pedals is this is out of a manual transmission Tacoma, which puts the brake pedal closer to the gas pedal, giving more room for the clutch. Speaking of the clutch pedal, this is what we're gonna be using. It is a clutch pedal out of a similar third generation Toyota Tacoma. All right, let's fit up the gas pedal. We know that's gonna fit in there perfectly. All right. Okay, we're good. All right, so this is the brake pedal out of a third gen Tacoma. I'm hoping it bolts right up. Uh, this actually repositions the pedal to be a little bit closer to the gas pedal, give you a little more room for the clutch. Maybe we'll be able to actually do some heel toe action. Up here. The clutch, the clutch is gonna be the fun one. Just to my knowledge, they don't make a forerunner in a manual. At least one of the new ones. All right, let's do the clutch. Man, it feels good to be bolting stuff onto this. I've been taking things off for so long, pretty much since the motor blew up. Okay, for the clutch pedal. So this is undoubtedly gonna require some cutting, some drilling but let's figure out exactly how much cutting and drilling and then where we're gonna wanna position it. So this is the bracket for the e-brake. This is the clutch out of the Tacoma. So that bracket's kind of in the way, but check this out. So there's a little re like relief here on the firewall and kind of right behind this bracket here, it looks like that might be another relief. But, um, let's go check the engine bay. I wanna see what it looks like on the other side there. So back here, this is where that pedal is. Okay, I think I see something. Um, I'm gonna need to pull the brake pedal off to give you guys a good look, but I think this is gonna be super easy. If this is what I think it is, So I want you to look at this pattern. I saw this hiding behind the brake booster. This is almost identical to what's on the Toyota clutch pedal. Just for comparison, look where this bolt is and these like pass-throughs. Look where this bolt is. Look at the stamps on the firewall. Now tell me, tell me that that doesn't look almost identical. So inside there is that bracket that used to hold the e-brake. I'm thinking if we drill through that bracket, pull it off, this thing is gonna bolt right up. I'm gonna make a stencil on this piece of cardboard and then I'm gonna match it up to the firewall and the forerunner. And we're gonna see if these line up perfectly. Oh my goodness. Guys, that's super rough. That's far from precise, but that's enough to tell me that we are, we are onto something. That's a good sound. There we go. All right, here it is. Look. I feel like this is a moment of truth. We have a direct fit. I kind of want to do a manual on the other one now. The holes are drilled, let's bolt this thing up. It is time. Let 
You have got to be kidding me. We have a clutch! I think this might be like one of the first three pedal fifth gins. It's the very first I know of. There's a lot of firsts that are gonna happen here. This is just the beginning. Let's throw a seat in there and see how everything feels. This thing is so sick. Yeah. <clears throat> hey. This is the PRP seat and the uh, bracket mounting kit from 8runneroffroad.com. Uh, it bolts right up into the 4Runner. You don't need anything additional. It all comes to you. You get everything you need to install these in the 4Runner. And I'm excited to put this thing in and see how these pedals feel. This is starting to feel like a reality. I think we are maybe, maybe at most a few months away from seeing this thing run. We have a lot of work left to do on Lunar One. Uh, it's emotional seeing this thing come together. I've said that a few times on this channel, but if you are a car guy, you know how into your cars you get. And uh, seeing this forerunner down uh, after months of working on it was very difficult. So to every piece that goes back on this now means so much. And the fact that I'm sitting in it now, holding a steering wheel, looking at three pedals, knowing what's coming next, that, that just, I can't explain that feeling. I've said it many times, this is gonna be the most insane Baja 4 runner that I can possibly build. I plan on holding myself accountable to building just that. See you next time. If you want to see more of our three shop rigs, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It means the world.